everybody this is mona and welcome to butterfly swim garden i'm coming on with you guys right now i'm going to be making some zucchini muffins um so we're going to start with everything that you see out here uh, and i love this recipe because it is so versatile you can really make it whatever way that you want you can use whatever cheese you want you can use uh, whatever hot peppers or sweet bell peppers, whatever it is that you want. Um, I even actually use some sweet corn, um, which is, I'll use the Thrive sweet corn because um, it's much easier and it tastes good. <laughs> so, as you can see right here is the recipe. I hope that's coming in clear enough. So, if you want to stop and screenshot that. Um, it's so simple. It is just such an easy, simple recipe. Um, you're going to need your zucchini. I use zucchini, the green and yellow, um, red onion, um, garlic out of the garden. Everything is out of the garden except for this red onion as far as the veggies go. Um, got some hot peppers. I am going to <laughs> add, these are... Carolina Reapers. I'm not adding all three of these. Um, this one ripened up first. And all right, I'm back. <laughs> um, anyways, what I was saying is I am not going to add all of these. Um, I'm just probably going to add a little of this one. Um, but I wanted you to see the size. Most of them that are coming on now are this size um i mean there are some small and little ones but most of them are this size so one of my friends who loves loves hot stuff um i'm making a batch of these muffins for her so i'm going to add a little bit of the ripened one here um because there's no way for me to test taste it to even tell her how hot it is she's just you know once she takes a bite she'll see so, um, and then I also pulled off some of the Bueno Molta, I believe, pepper. And it, to me, is just like a purple cayenne pepper. Um, I will say it's, you know, from putting it on the tip of my tongue, it's a little bit more spicier to me than the red cayenne peppers. Um, and then these are the Craig's Giant Jalapenos. Um, I got this seed from Baker Creek, um, and it's not a super hot jalapeno, but it does pack some heat. Um, so I am going to be getting this all. You can grate it. What my hands, the days that it just, the fiber round just kicks in. I don't even try to grade. Um, I use my food processor, um, and this much faster. Um, so yeah, what I'm adding is all of what you see here so let me get everything um chopped and all of that good stuff and um i will bring you guys back um when it's time to mix everything together all right guys i'm back as you can see i got um in this bowl is four cups of the zucchini shredded up um I'm making this for someone and they wanted bacon and the bacon fat that it was cooked in. So I poured, dumped all of that in. Um, I'm about to put in my corn and I'm using my Thrive dehydrated corn. I'm going to tell you, this stuff is good. Even just eating it out of the can, you know, it is really some good stuff. So, adding a little bit over a third cup of corn and stir it in. It will rehydrate um, as this starts to cook in the oven. So, I mean, if you want to, you can add, you know, put it in a cup, add some warm water, and that will rehydrate um, the corn. But I just don't feel that that's necessary. And going to add some Parmesan cheese just 
stir it in really good. And I did um, put in here um, eggs, two eggs, two large eggs. So now I'm going to just start putting my flour in little by little. And normally to two cups of shredded zucchini with the eggs, um, you would put one cup of the flour. Um, but you could play around with this and you can make it your own. Um, like I said, this is with bacon in it. Um, you can add chicken, you can add pork, you know, you can add, um, I'm sure seafood or, you know, you could just make it your own. So I want to get that a little bit, a little bit more where it's buying together. Because you don't want it runny and soupy. I mean, it's going to cook. You know, but I just kind of found that um, playing around with this recipe, I just rather that's about the good or the consistency that I like. And you're just going to grease up your muffin pans, and I use just regular pan spray. Now, also in here is I chopped up very finely. Um, a little bit of the ghost pepper is not a lot of it in here. My girlfriend loves hot stuff, spicy stuff. So I didn't want to blow her out, you know. Um, and, but I'm going to tell you something. That ghost pepper, I had to step out of the kitchen just from chopping it and it being in the air I had on. I was double gloved, um, but this is what I chopped. I don't know if you guys can see how I got in there, um, but yeah, this stuff is no joke. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, whew, no joke for you people out there that can actually eat it with no problem. My hat is off to you because <clears throat> it's still in my throat. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna use my little measuring cup here. And this is a jumbo muffin tin. So you can use a regular muffin tin, um, which I am going to be making some more of these muffins in the regular um, muffin size tin. But she, she wanted the jumbo tins so I'm going to make hers in this and that's all you're doing is just scooping it in there you can bring it pretty close up to the top I mean it's going to fluff up some so typically I kind of put a little bit more in here than normal but um, when it cooks it puffs up and then of course you know it kind of deflates a little bit once you take it out of the oven um, but I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, distribute this into this one muffin pan because um, she's the only person that wants some hot, hot stuff. So, pop them in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until you see that it's golden brown on top. So, I'm going to get this in the oven. And I will bring you guys back once it is all complete. All right, guys, I am back. And as you can see, they are all done. Um, this has bacon, cheese, onion, um, Carolina Reaper pepper. Um, like I said, this is for a friend of mine who loves hot, hot stuff. But, as you can see, how delicious everything looks. Um, and just, yeah. So, I know she is going to enjoy these. <laughs> I still have another batch in the oven that doesn't have all the hot peppers and the bacon and all of that in it. But I just wanted to come back on and just show you the final results of the zucchini muffin that you can make your own. So as always, guys, be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.